Nearly two decades ago the rumors began, in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile, someone had discovered a tiny mummified alien. An amateur collector exploring a ghost town was said to have come across a white cloth in a leather pouch. Unwrapping it, he found a six-inch long skeleton. Despite its size the skeleton was remarkably complete, it even had hardened teeth. And yet there were striking anomalies, it had ten ribs instead of the usual twelve, giant eye sockets, and a long skull that ended in a point. As the remains came to be known, Ada ended up in a private collection, but the rumors continued. People thought it was an alien. In 2018, a team of scientists presented a very different explanation for Ada, one without aliens but intriguing in its way. ATA's DNA revealed she was human. The researchers identified gene mutations in her DNA. Some of these mutations might be responsible for the skeleton's bizarre form causing a disorder never before documented in humans. DNA autopsies could help shed light on medical disorders by looking to the past to understand the present. And the immunologist research began in 2012. They managed to reconstruct much of Ada's genome. She was a girl, most closely related to indigenous Chileans, but she also had a substantial amount of European ancestry. Her European heritage suggested it was sometime after Chile was colonized in the 1500s. After death, DNA disintegrates into fragments, which become smaller over the centuries. Ada's DNA fragments are still large, another clue that she's less than 500 years old. While her elongated head was striking, it wasn't the strangest feature of Ada's skeleton. Despite being the size of a human fetus, about the length of a pen, her bones were as developed in some ways as those of a six-year-old. An expert on hereditary bone diseases examined x-rays. He concluded that her symptoms did not match any known disease. The scientists reasoned that Ata might have had mutations for a disorder that had never before been described. They searched for mutations in Ata's DNA and identified this list of 54 rare mutations that could potentially shut down the gene in which they were located. Many of those genes are involved in building skeletons. Some have already been linked to conditions ranging from scoliosis to dwarfism to having an abnormal number of ribs. But some of Ata's mutations are new to science. There is no single slam-dunk finding that explains the bizarre appearance of this individual. Yet, understanding what happened to Ada might shed light on skeletal deformities seen today.